Hey guys, my name is Natasha and this is another video for the beginners. Today we will learn to say what we have and by doing that we will also learn some new words and repeat some things which we learned in the previous videos. So let us begin. You know there is a Russian word emit that means to have but actually it isn't used always, it isn't used that often because it also has a sexual connotation Therefore, we have another way to say I have and I strongly recommend you to use that way, that construction, because I don't want you to get in uh, an awkward situation when you say a completely correct sentence with emit and then see such a reaction from your Russian friend. <laughs> For example, I have a house. У меня есть дом. Let's analyze the sentence. The first word is U. U is a preposition. It can be translated into English as at, by or near. It depends on the context. The second word is меня. Меня is a я, I, in the genitive case. And the third word is есть. Есть is actually быть, to be, in the present tense. And the last word, дом, is a house in the nominative case. So, у меня есть дом. Roughly, we could translate it as um, at me or near to me. There is or there are things, people. Uh, why Russians say like this, I don't know. But if you find it difficult to memorize, to memorize this construction, I think I can help you a little bit. Just um, think about it like this. What does it mean, I have something or someone? What does it mean? It doesn't mean that uh, you all the time hold it in your hands. No, it means that those uh, things or people, they surround you. They're always near to you. Um, if we talk about people, they're close to you. They're related to you. If we talk about uh, the possessions, about the things, so those things probably are at your place, right? But it's, again, it's something what surrounds you. Let's say a few sentences with this uh, construction. Let's say I have a sister. Sister in Russian is uh, sistra. 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 So, I have a sister is... У меня есть сестра. У меня есть сестра. Let's say yet uh, her name is Kristina. Do you remember how to say my name is? Uh, we were talking about this before. My name is, is меня зовут. Меня зовут. So how to say her name is? Кристина. Her in Russian will be ее. Ее. So, ее зовут Кристина. У меня есть сестра. Ее зовут Кристина. I have a sister. Her name is Кристина. I have a brother. Brother in Russian is брат. 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 У меня есть брат. У меня есть брат. Again, let's say his name is Сергей. His in Russian is его, 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 его зовут Сергей, его зовут Сергей. У меня есть брат, его зовут Сергей. I have a brother, his name is Сергей. Let's repeat yet the numbers. I'm curious if you still remember how to count things. We had that video before. Uh, so, let's say I have two sisters and two brothers. Um, you remember that after number two, we need a noun in singular and the genitive case. So, sistra in genitive case, sister in genitive case will be sistri. Sistri. And uh, brat in genitive case is brata. Brata. So, do you know already how to say in Russian, I have two sisters and two brothers? 
у меня есть две сестры и два брата. У меня есть две сестры и два брата. I guess now you're wondering why first um, we said two as две, and the second time we say two as два. That has to do with uh, gender. Сестра um, is feminine noun and uh, брат is masculine. And numbers like one and two changes according to the gender. So, for example, if we say one sister is одна сестра, одна сестра, and one brother is один брат, один брат. The same with the number two. Uh, we say uh, two sisters, две сестры, две сестры, and two brothers, два брата, два брата. With the number three, there is no difference. So we say три сестры and три брата. У меня есть две сестры и два брата. I have two sisters and two brothers. Should we try to say their names? With uh, зовут we have the accusative case. Меня зовут, его зовут, ее зовут is uh, я... Uh, on, она, in the accusative case. If we want to say my sister's names are, we need to know how um, the word sister, сестра, sounds in the accusative case and plural. It's gonna be сестер, сестер, сестер. Сестер зовут Елена и Мария. Сестер зовут Елена и Мария. And now let's do the same with uh, brothers. Brat in the accusative and plural will be братьев. Братьев. Brothers' names are братьев зовут. Братьев зовут Петр и Виктор. Brothers' names are Петр and Виктор. Let's repeat one more time. У меня есть две сестры. И два брата, сестер зовут Елена и Мария, братьев зовут Петр и Виктор. When you talk about yourself, you may want to say that um, I have a wife or, or I have a husband, his name is, her name is. You know already all the words you need to say this. But let's see if you remember it. Let's say I have a husband, his name is Andrei. У меня есть муж. Yeah, husband is муж. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? У меня есть муж. Его зовут Андрей. У меня есть муж. Его зовут Андрей. Now let's say I have a wife. Her name is Maria. У меня есть жена. Ее зовут Мария. У меня есть жена. Ее зовут Мария. How to make a question? How to ask? Do you have intonation, guys? Really, intonation is so important in the Russian language. Uh, so you have to learn to hear the difference in intonation. For example, let's first uh, make a statement. Uh, let's say, you have a house. We need a pronoun. You is ты in the genitive case. Тебя, тебя. У тебя есть дом. Like, you have a house. У тебя есть дом. У тебя есть дом. It's a statement. Let's change uh, the intonation and we're gonna get a question. У тебя есть дом? У тебя есть дом? Do you have a house? У тебя есть дом? We can ask it a bit differently, add some emotion, some additional meaning to it. Uh, у тебя есть дом? У тебя есть дом? You see, I'm surprised. I'm asking with surprise. I'm surprised that you have a house. Like a house, not something else, not something lame. Seriously, you have a house? Like a, у тебя есть дом? У тебя есть дом? Or let's ask it with another intonation. У тебя есть дом? 
у тебя есть дом. You hear? I'm emphasizing тебя. So I'm like, you, you have a house? It's like, I cannot believe it. Like, seriously? I would never have thought that you could have a house. У тебя есть дом? So more examples. Uh, let's uh, ask, do you have kids? Uh, you know already I mentioned before that there are two ways to ask. Uh, polite formal way and informal way. And the difference between them is only that uh, in one way we use pronoun we and um, in informal way we use pronoun they. So let's say now, let's ask politely. We're gonna use pronoun we. And pronoun uh, we in the genitive case gonna be was. У вас есть дети? Дети is kids. У вас есть дети? Let's answer. Да, у меня есть дети. Yes, I have kids. Uh, or you can also say да, у нас есть дети. Да. Yes, we have kids. If you mean yourself and your spouse. So, у нас, we have. У нас есть дети. What if you don't have any kids and you want to answer no, I don't have kids? Uh, how does it sound in Russian? Two things changes. First of all, uh, the verb есть disappears. Instead of есть, we get нет. That means in English not. To be is gone and instead we have only not, нет. And uh, the second thing that changes, uh, the noun after нет uh, is not in the nominative case anymore, but in genitive. So дети will become детей. I don't have kids. У меня нет детей. У меня нет детей. I don't have kids. Talking about uh, kids, let's learn some new vocabulary. I have a son. Son in Russian is сын. Сын. У меня есть сын. У меня есть сын. I have a daughter. Daughter in Russian is дочь. Дочь. У меня есть дочь. У меня есть дочь. Or again, let's use some numbers and say I have two sons and one daughter. У меня есть два сына и одна дочь. У меня есть два сына и одна дочь. I have a friend. We have two words for friend in Russian. Uh, one is for male friend and another for female friend. So male friend is uh, друг. 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 And female friend is Подруга. 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 Let's say I have a female friend. У меня есть подруга. У меня есть подруга. I don't have money. Money in Russian is деньги. 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 And uh, we, we are saying I don't have money. So we're going to use нет. And we need genitive case. Деньги in the genitive case is денег. Денег. У меня нет денег. У меня нет денег. I don't have money. I have a cat and a dog. У меня есть кот и собака. Кот is a cat and собака са is a dog. У меня есть кот и собака. У меня есть кот и собака. I think it's enough for today. I hope it wasn't too much, wasn't too difficult. If it was, please let me know, write a comment and I will think how to make it easier for you. Like maybe make a video shorter or um, give information only in small bites and give more examples. So everything uh, is understandable, easier to memorize. Um, by the way, there is also a blog post. So everything what I said now here in this video, you can read on my website. The link is in the description. And now I have yet a task for you. You know now how to say in Russian what you have. So please do it. 
write a few sentences, write what you have. Do you have a sister? Do you have a brother? Do you have a special friend? Maybe you have a dog, a cat, and you know how to write it, so please do. And for today, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.